Time has expired. I call the member for Leichhardt. Thank you very much indeed, Mr Speaker, and congratulations on uh, your re-election. And I've got no doubt that uh, your contribution will only continue to, to build on the outstanding your job you've done to date. Uh, I rise tonight to formally put on the record my congratulations to the Cairns Hockey Association and its innovative Aspire to be Deadly program, which has made the shortlist for a pres prestigious international award. Aspire to, deadly, uh, to be Deadly aims to give women and young uh, girls an opportunity to compete and advance their education, to create real pathways for training and employment and to be visible so they themselves can become role models for other, young, uh, for other Indigenous women and, and young girls. It's also about involving them in interactive training and workshops so that they can learn how to better communicate key messages relating to health, safety and wellbeing in support of community participation sports programs. Last week, Cairns Hockey received news that the Aspire program is one of 42 finalists selected over, uh, from over 250 international entries vying for a coveted Beyond Sport award. These awards promote, support and reward the best projects across the globe that are using sport as a, a positive social change. Cairns Hockey Association is one of four finalists competing uh, to win the Sports Federation or Governing Body of the Year award. They're up against the European Club Association, 90 Minutes for Hope, the US, USA's Major lace, baseball, uh, a League Baseball uh, Play Ball and Australia's National Rugby League a School to Work program. The winners will be announced at the awards presentation on the 19th of October at the Beyond Sports Summit in London. Uh, I'm absolutely thrilled, Mr Speaker, that Aspire and Cairns Hockey have received this international recognition. I would particularly like to highlight the efforts of the President of the Cairns Hockey Association, uh, Scott Brown, Operations Manager Julie McNeil and Program Coordinators Wes Ferns and Jessica Fatnoa. Their award, this award clearly shows that in Cairns we have innovative thinking, cultural understanding, educational expertise and real dedication to lead the world in improving opportunities for Indigenous people. According to Julie, it's difficult to uh, convey the benefits the program delivers because in many incidents they're carried out in remote locations. As an example, last Friday over 50 young people travelled by ferry, bus and charter flight across Torres Strait to take part in a competition playing a hockey-like game called Miggy Koken. This carnival is a result of a partnership between Cairns Hockey Aspire Program, Tangai Car State College and the communities of the Torres Strait Islands. In 10 days, uh, Cairns Hockey is again making history by leading an under-11 tour of 20 students to Corumba in Western Cape York, uh, in the Western Cape York, um, or South Western Cape York. The Gulf region is already seeing an interest in hockey increase because of the program, and many teams have nominated uh, than ever before because of Cairns making this trip. Other positive spin-offs have, uh, spin have included students managing to attain 90 per cent attendance levels for good and, and good behaviour, making them eligible to participate. As Julie says, this is where hockey can, make, uh, can and does make a real difference. I'm pleased that the coalition government has acknowledged the value of poten and potential of this program by providing funding for a pilot through the Indigenous Advancement Strategy. Uh, as a long-time supporter of Cairns hockey, hockey and a proud patron of the Far North Queensland Rubies, uh, which is the, uh, the, the young ladies' uh, team and the Blaze, the men's Indigenous hockey teams. I certainly will do whatever I can to make sure that this uh, support continues. In the long term, Cairns Hockey run, aims to run a program in more than 40 Indigenous communities in far north and in, in far north and far north west Queensland, reaching over 40,000 participants in over 40 years over over the next three years. Sorry, it's also seeking to build training facilities and residential opportunities specifically for Indigenous young women supporting training, education and employment outcomes starting in 2017. We've already seen the success of a similar model in Cairns with Cape York AFL House focusing on Indigenous boys and the fantastic efforts of Rick Hanlon and his team. Cairns Hockey is hoping to send a delegation to London to attend Beyond Sports store, uh, Awards and this is a fantastic opportunity and I strongly urge any local companies or organisations are able to provide sponsorship to assist in flights or funding support to contact Cairns Hockey as soon as possible. Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Speaker, to Scott and to Julie, to Wes and to Jess and your team, I wish you all the very best of luck at the awards ceremony and thank you very much indeed for your commitment to bettering the lives of young Indigenous women in our communities. Thank you.